Hello everybody, Ropefox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. For last week's Redstone Tutorial, I made this dunk tank minigame that you see right here. And the fun part about this is that we were able to take the redstone from the target block and adjust it so it had to be a bullseye only. There we go, we got it on our first try. And in that video, I showed you how you could change the difficulty to make it even easier. And with that, that got me thinking... What other fun mini games could we make using the target block? And for those who missed this video, a card to it will be popping up in the top right corner and a link to it will be down in the description below. Today's target block resto mini game is inspired from the classic carnival game where you sit down, you have a water gun, and then you try to squirt water into the clown's mouth so he can pop your balloon first. It's a lot of fun and you can sit down and play with all your friends. Now, of course, we don't have water guns, we can't squirt water. And we don't have balloons to pop in Minecraft, but I came up with the next best thing. And now let me introduce to you Arrow Races. So it has the same concept in mind. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to hit the target. And again, we can change the difficulty on this to make it a bullseye only or where we'd like it to be. In this case, I have it set to be anywhere on the target just for demonstration purposes because I'm not too confident in my archery skills to hit seven bullseyes in a row. But the idea is you would hit the target wherever you determine that to be. That will light up the redstone lamps and the first one to get to the top to ring the bell wins. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this. There's one, two, three. And I know this is called arrow races, but if you really want to, you can use snowballs. There's five. We can use tridents. Six. And remember, you are racing your friends, so you want to have at least two or four of these set up. So everyone can play. And again, the first one to get to the top and ring the bell is the winner. And that is how this mini game works. To build this super fun and super awesome target block mini game that we are calling Arrow Races, you are going to need a 3x4 area. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go. There are all the supplies we'll need for today's build. So what we have is the target block, seven redstone lamps, two hoppers, four repeaters, three comparators, one sticky piston, one redstone block, one dropper, and make sure that is a dropper and not a dispenser, 14 redstone dust, and for my decorating blocks, I'm using eight black concrete to surround the target, and then I'm using light blue concrete for the building blocks since we used red for the demonstration. Other than that, you will need seven glass blocks, a bell, a composter, a chest, stack of pumpkin pies, your bow and arrow, and then five non-stackable items to change up the difficulty if you choose to do so. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. To get things started, what we're going to do is build up the face of our game. So let's go ahead and lay down three blocks like this, place your target block on top of the center one, like so, and then surround it with the rest of these blocks here. Now let's go ahead and start up our next color. So three blocks like this. Now you do want to have a two block gap between your target and the first redstone lamp. The reason being, if we have the redstone lamp right here, as soon as we hit this target block, this is automatically going to get powered. So we don't want that. And that is why we are creating a two block gap like this. Now let's go ahead and place our redstone lamp here and stack this seven high. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then surround the redstone lamps with the rest of our decoration blocks. Like this. And there we go. There is the face of our mini game completed. For the redstone, let's go ahead and swing around to the back. And what we want to do is place a block right here. Grab your comparator, run the comparator out from the target block like this, and then run that comparator into a block right there. Place two blocks right here, a temporary block right there. Grab your hopper, run your hopper into that temporary block, and then we can go ahead and remove it. Get your comparator once again, and then run a comparator out from the hopper like this. Now grab your redstone and place dust right here and right there. So this little bit is going to run up and power our redstone lamps. And then this bit of redstone right here is going to determine what the difficulty is going to be. So let's go ahead and open up our hopper. Now for a bullseye only, we want to place all five non-stackable items into the hopper. 
giving us an output of 15. So we have to hit a 15 in order to get a redstone output. Now, if we want to make it a 12 or better, we remove one. And let's go ahead and head over to the demonstration area so this makes a little bit more sense. And now for a quick crash course in how this works, I did explain this in more detail in my last video, and I'm actually considering making this a standalone video. That way I don't have to do this in every single target block video I do. I can just quickly reference you to this standalone video, but let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. The first thing we need to know is that a non-stackable item will give us a redstone output of three. So if we place that in the hopper, we have a redstone output of three. If we place in the second item, that is going to give us a redstone output of six. Now what we're going to do is place our target block right here. And when we hit specific areas of the target, so three, as we move in closer to the bullseye, we get a stronger redstone output. There we go. Now let's place this comparator into the side of this one. And in this, we have three non-stackable items giving us a redstone output of nine. And what that means here is that when we hit this target, we have to hit at least a signal strength of nine or better in order for this to register. So if we move in a little bit closer, you can see we get ourselves a redstone output. Now, if we go ahead and max it out to make it a bullseye only, we can shoot a little bit closer, but again, it is not going to register until we actually hit a bullseye. So that is a quick explanation in how to change difficulties. And of course, if you want to make it even easier, you can do this. So you have to hit at least a six, which means you have a little bit more room to miss like that. But of course you can't hit way out here because it's not going to register. So that is how we change difficulties. With that explanation on the way, let's go ahead and move on to set up our composter with our dropper and pumpkin pies. And to do that, let's place a temporary block here, a sticky piston facing up. That redstone line is going to run into the side of that piston. Redstone block on the face of the sticky piston. We can remove the temporary block. Now go ahead and grab your composter, come over to this side and place the composter right against that redstone block. Now get your hopper, come on down below and crouch place your hopper into the bottom of the composter like this. Get your chest and then crouch place your chest into the bottom of the hopper like that. So what this is going to do is we are going to set up our dropper in just a moment, but just so you can see how this works, we are going to place it in pumpkin pie that is going to guarantee one level in the composter and the composter will go up to a total of seven levels before it empties out. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we will quickly get an output of eight, but you can see it will empty and then the bone meal will deposit down below. And to give a better visual, let's do this right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We quickly get eight and then it empties. So that is the mechanic we are using for our redstone lamps here. And with that out of the way, all we have to do is place in our dropper with our pumpkin pies. So let's place a temporary block here. Get your dropper, come down below and place your dropper facing in this direction. So it is pointing down into the composter. Remove that temporary block and then place your pumpkin pies into the dropper. So there we go, that is all set up. Now all we have to do is take the resonant output from this composter and run it into our redstone lamps. Take the output from the composter and run them into the redstone lamps. What we're gonna do is crouch place a block against the hopper like this. Get your comparator. We wanna run the comparator out from the composter and then run that comparator into a block right here. Now go ahead and place on redstone dust and this one is gonna power our first redstone lamp by powering this block. And then get your glass blocks, place two glass blocks like this. Redstone dust on top. That's gonna power this block, powering that lamp. Few more blocks of glass with redstone dust. Again, this one is gonna get powered here. Few more glass blocks, redstone dust. This one, the top one is gonna get powered. And then one more glass block like that with redstone dust. So you can see our pattern, every other lamp is being powered. Now to power the other ones, what we're gonna do is place a block against the first block of glass like this. You wanna come a block up and then block like that. And then we grab our repeater run a repeater into that block, leave it set to one tick, and then redstone dust. That way, this block will be powering that lamp. And then again, the pattern is gonna repeat all the way up. So, block, 
Block up. Block here. Peter. Redstone dust. And let's see if I can do this a little bit quicker. Block. Block here. Block up. Block. Block here. Block up. Repeater. Repeater. Redstone dust. And redstone dust. Now, again, we are going to get that random output of 8. So what I like to do is put a bell up here. So when it gets up to 8, it's going to ding. And then, as you saw, it is going to reset. So believe it or not, the redstone for this is all set and ready to go. And we can go ahead and play our game. Now it's totally up to you how far back you want to stand to play. I chose to go 12 blocks back because this is the max distance we can go and still be able to hear the bell on our side. Of course, if we're playing with others, there's no way that we can hear their bell, but that's why we have the rest of the lamps to indicate how close each player is to winning if they aren't already shouting about it already. So let's go ahead and give it a test. This is set to be a bullseye only. Again, I'm not that great when it comes to using a bow. And can we even hit one? Oh, there we go. We got one. So again, the nice part about changing difficulties is let's say you're playing with friends that are a little bit better with the bow than you are, and you want to make things a little bit more fair. You want to level the playing field a bit. What you could do is you could have your friends, if you agree upon it, to play for a bullseye only, and then we can give yourself a handicap. And by that, I mean we can take two of these away. And from earlier, remember that means we just need to hit a nine or better. So you have your friend playing for a bullseye to score, and for us, we have to hit a 9 or better to score. So that way, you're not getting super frustrated and stressed out because you can't hit a single bullseye because you're not that great with the bow. So definitely makes things more fair and levels the playing field, if you ask me. So that is another great feature of changing difficulties. And there you have everyone, the Arrow Races Target Block Minigame for Bedrock Edition. This is the end of today's Redstone tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.